In this video I'm going to look at four different straight line graphs y equals 2x plus 1, y equals 2x plus 3, y equals 2x minus 2 and y equals 2x. And I'm going to do what we call a control experiment. In this particular instance for these four graphs in each case the y equals 2x is fixed in the name or the equation that I'm dealing with. And all I'm doing is changing one thing, which is the number on the end, plus 1, plus 3, minus 2, and that one there does not have a number on the end, which in effect could be written down as plus naught, but it doesn't actually need to be there. What I'm going to do, therefore, is do a table of values for each one of these four straight line graphs that I'm going to get, and I'm going to plot the straight line graphs accurately on these axes. Now, what we'll see is that there are some things about the straight lines that are the same, and that is obviously the connection with y equals 2x at the beginning, and there are some things that are different about the straight lines, and the different things that occur must obviously be because of the difference in the number on the end of the name or the equation of each line. So let's get cracking and work out the actual values in the table of value. OK, so if x is naught on this first particular table, oh, by the way, I've decided to use x values 0, 1, 2, 3. If you're not told what x values to use, then you can pick, you're entitled to pick, any x values you like to use. 0, 1, 2, 3 are very easy x values to use, that's why I'm picking 0, 1, 2, 3 to use. Sometimes you'll be told to use specific values. So if that's the case, then you would use those. OK, so I'm picking 0, 1, 2, 3. So if x is naught, from the equation, from the name, y values will be 2 times nothing, that's nothing, add 1, you get 1. If x is 1, y will be 2 times 1, that's 2, plus 1, that's 3. If x is 2, y will be 2 times 2 is 4, add 1 is 5. And then if x is 3, y equals 2 times 3 is 6, add 1 is 7. I have now got four points in that table to plot, and if I join them up, I should get a straight line. So let me do that quickly. 0, 1, 0 across 1 up is there. 1, 3 is 1 across 3 up is there. Uh, 2, 5, that means 2 on the x and up to 5 on the y is about there. And then 3, 7, 3 across, and 7 up is about there. Now, if it's done really accurately, you should get a perfect straight line. So if I join those up, I won't use a ruler, but you should obviously be using a ruler when you do this. And you can extrapolate it, which means extend the straight, straight line on. And you can extrapolate it down here and extrapolate it at the other end. Label it before you forget which graph is which. y equals 2x plus 1. So we get that first straight line, something like that. OK, let's do the second one. y equals 2x plus 3 now. If x is nothing, y will be 2 times nothing is nothing, add 3, 3. If x is 1, y will be 2 times 1 is 2, add 3, you get 5. If x is 2, y will be 2 times 2 is 4, plus 3, you get 7. And if x is 3, the y value to go with it will be 2 times 3 is 6, add 3, you get 9. So we've got four new points to plot, which I'll now quickly do. So 0, 3, 0 across, 3 up is there. 1, 5, that's 1 across, 5 up, it's about there. Uh, 2, 7, 2 across, 7 up is about here. That was a bit too high, that one. I'll plot it again. 1, 5 is about there. And 3, 9, 3 across, and 9 up is up here. And so we get a straight line. Join them up, and we should get another straight line. So, with a ruler, obviously, again, but I'll do it freehand just to demonstrate what is going on. And label it y equals 2x add 3 and I would extrapolate this on down here like so. Let's do the next one y equals 2x minus 2 so if x is naught, 2 naught to naught, take away 2 minus 2. If x is 1, 
2 times 1 is 2, take away 2, nothing. If x is 2, 2 2 is a 4, take away 2, 2. And if x is 3, 2 3 is a 6, take away 2, 4. So we get 4 new points to plot, which I'll do quickly. 0 minus 2, that means 0 on the x, which is there, down to minus 2, down here. 1, nothing. 1 on the x, and then nothing up or down. That goes there. 2, 2, that's 2 across, 2 up. That's there. And then 3, 4 is 3 across, and 4 up, that takes you to there. With a straight line, ruler, obviously, draw your straight line and as best you can and if need be extrapolate it and that is y equals 2x minus 2 okay now in this particular case I should perhaps spend a bit more care and use a ruler because that did not look like a straight line plot there but you get something like that so you can see the effect of taking place what's taking place here Immediately you can see that there is something that is the same about those straight lines. I'll talk about that in a second. Let's do the last one. This one here is y is simply equal to 2 times the x value. Plus naught if you want, but it doesn't make, doesn't make any difference to the answer. So if x is naught, 2 noughts are naught. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2. If x is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. If x is 3, y will be 2 times 3, which is 6. So we get 3... Uh, sorry, four new points to plot. So, no, no this time. Well, that is smack in the corner in the middle there. And then one, two, one across, two up, goes there. Then we have two, four, two across, four up, which is there. Uh, then we have three, six, three across and six up, which is about there. Getting a bit cluttered, but I think you'll be able to see quite clearly what is going on when I join this up with a straight line and extrapolate in both directions. And I'll label this y equals 2x. And just to emphasize, I could put a plus naught on the end if I wanted. Now, I hope you can see what's going on, because what we've got going on here is each, each time the 2x, 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 2x remains the same, and what we're getting is the actual slope of each of these lines remains the same. So that obviously tells you, because we're getting these parallel line effect, that the 2s in front of the x is controlling somehow the slope. And so the slope is going to remain the same in each case. The thing that is different is the number on the end, and the number on the end is what I want to concentrate on in this last little section. The plus 3 on the end, notice it crosses that plus 3 on the y-axis. The plus 1 on the end, notice it crosses at plus 1 on the y-axis. The minus 2 there on the end shows a minus 2 on the y-axis. And then finally, the plus naught there, in fact, we don't normally put it in, but it means the same as plus naught, the plus naught, and lo and behold, it crosses at naught on the y-axis. So from this video, all you need to really um, deduce is, yes, okay, the number of, uh, in front of the x, the number of x's will somehow control the slope, and if they're all the same value, they're going to be the same uh, parallel line type effect. But more importantly, if you change the number on the end, you're going to change where the line crosses the y-axis. And for this video, that is the end.